What's going on folks? I want to do a quick review with you on a MyMedic bag and I ended up tweaking this, you know, adding a couple things to it just to beef it up a little bit, but it came pretty stacked. Shipping took a while, but just a great bag to have in my opinion. You know, everybody in their house should have something, a pouch, a go-to, something you can just grab and start to deploy um, if something was to happen. But this is different than what I would carry with my EDC. You know, this is gonna have a heck of a lot more to it. So let's break it open, show you what's inside. If you don't mind me using my kid's pop-up table, I think we'll be fine. My legs might be hanging out the bottom, but I'm out of tables at this point. So let's jump into the bag. All right, so starting with the bag, you're gonna have Molly on the front and back with Velcro on the front and a breakaway Velcro here to open up a sling. Looks like a sling. You'd be able to sling this over your shoulder. You've got the, the Molly straps here as well. And this little badge is tear away as well, Velcro. So when you open this up, I gotta be careful because this is gonna fall apart. This is what you get. You're gonna have a couple of tear away kits that I'll get to in a minute. So if we start with this side here, I added these gauze kits just because I didn't think I had enough, enough gauze in here and some compression bandages. Got three of those, two of them came with, I added the third, be able to apply some pressure. A rat tourniquet, there probably wasn't enough room for a cat in here, so I'm probably gonna replace this with the cat, but um, it's nice to have one nonetheless. Space blanket, a couple of those came with the kit. I dispersed some of these to make room for some other things. You'll see they have like the paracord here. You know, they've got a preparedness kind of mindset and tweak to the bag, which I really liked about it too. A emergency pressure bandage. So similar to what like an Israeli bandage is gonna do for you. You know, this is nice to have if you've got some heavy bleeding. Glucose, so if you need to get that into somebody's system, to bring them back if they're diabetic. Under here, you've got a burn kit. So I added this one on top of this burn kit. This is what came with it, with some burn shields, they call them. And I just, I hate burns. They're nasty. You know, it happens a lot, especially with kids. So I got um, some extra of that. Gauze pads, quite a few of them in here. That's everything that's in this bag is just a bunch of gauze pads. And I didn't realize until now, it did come with a gauze bandage. So I actually have four bandages, but that's okay. Just a light stick. I probably will never use this, but it's kind of nice to have, right? I do have that flashlight as well. These are some nylon sutures. I added this to the bag, I believe. This came from my medic, but I added it to the bag. Uh, kind of a custom um, configuration. Just nice to have. A couple chest seals. You know, I'm not going to trust these more than the high fins that I have and that I carry with me everywhere, but there's four in each, which is kind of nice. Quick clot. We also have a cold pack. You know, this is gonna be nice one-time use. Once you pop this um, little bag inside and you mix it around the chemicals mix, you're gonna have cold. So once these are used, they're done. A decompression needle, electrolytes. So if you are not hydrated properly, you're not getting the electrolytes, you're gonna lose all of that unless you replenish them, you're gonna have some problems. So these tablets are really nice to have. I have that in my everyday carry bag as well. Miscellaneous tools, thermometers, uh, light with a pupil gauge, tweezers, some miscellaneous medical instruments. Triangular bandage, these are great for just many things, but I would probably use this as a sling more than anything else. Eye wash, so if you get something in your eye, which happens to me all the time, working on vehicles and whatnot, this is great to have around. Medical shears, if you need to cut clothing or other things, bandages, etc. Got some tape. This is a splint. So you'd be able to splint your arm or leg, you know, one of your limbs if something was to happen. I don't know how durable this is gonna be, but it's better than nothing. And some elastic bandages. Love these things. Reusable if you don't get them covered in blood, of course. Great to have. Airway kit with some adapters here. Um, I got this extra, did pay extra for it, but 
I do know how to use these and hopefully wouldn't need them, but have them if you do. I recommend training on these. Don't just wing it. You're sticking a tube down somebody's throat or through their nose. It's not something you just want to wing. Miscellaneous band-aids band here, different sizes, some butterfly bandages. You know, I just threw these in here. They did not come with the kit. And that's because I have kids. Lots of little cuts and scrapes. I am not gonna know how all this goes back together. I'll have to watch my own video. So this is a tearaway kit I was telling you about. This is a stop the bleed kit. So if there's hemorrhaging, I'm gonna rip that off and run to wherever, or grab the bag, it's not that big. So this is gonna basically replace the need for stitches, or at least help to stop the bleeding until you can get some stitches, get to a hospital. Nitro gloves and a bandage kit. So probably have my band-aids in here, assorted bandages for elbows, knees, and fingers. So it did come with band-aids. Um, I'm sure they're better quality than band-aids, at least I hope they are. These kits here, you can buy these separate. You don't need to buy this whole big bag here, and there's even a bigger bag. Um, it's actually a backpack full of medical equipment. This is a skill level basic. So it's kind of nice you have the skill levels here. Super skin, which comes in handy for many things. You know, if you've got blisters or you're starting to get blisters on your feet and you're walking, this will be great for that. And wound closures similar to the um, butterfly strips. I have extras of in the bag as well. The other tearaway, you've got some miscellaneous pouches here with medication. So you got some aspirin, ibuprofen, um, antiseptic, clean a wound, and probably some chapsticks, suntan lotion, or sunscreen, there we go, sun, suntan lotion. Don't really care about that. Antibiotic ointment. So this is gonna be just your miscellaneous um, liquids and you know headache relievers, etc. So lip balm, oral pain relief. So pretty cool kit. You definitely don't want to be left not knowing how to use some of these things. The aspirin, not a big deal, but the MicroMen cut, basic training, I have EMT B training, you know, just even knowing how to do CPR and apply properly butterfly strips, for example, or applying pressure to stop a wound if you didn't have any of this. That stuff is extremely important. You could save a life. You drive up on an accident, you know, you know not to pull the person out without, you know, somebody being there to support their neck, for example, if they have a back injury. There's so many things to keep in mind that you could actually end up hurting somebody even more when you tried to help them. If you ended up liking the video, don't forget to hit the like button and just subscribe if you wanna see more content like this. I do everything emergency preparedness. So what did you think of the bag? What'd you think of the contents? Would you add anything? Let me know in the comments. Until next time.